I'd like to show you how to take a series of images and create a grid layout for them. Now this can be something that you take a lot of time to do or you do it pretty simply using a new feature in InDesign CS4. I'm going to create a new document. This can be an existing document you guys if you want. I'm just going to get one out here. The key to this is you've got to have images created typically. I mean you don't have to but if I have a folder full of images and what we're going to do is we're going to place them. So if I come up to file place you've probably done this a million times or if you're brand new you've just kind of started seeing this but choosing file place will allow me to select a series of images. Now what's really cool about InDesign is we can place multiple images at one time. If I shift click to select a series of images somewhere and then open them it'll give me my little cursor here. This is my loaded image cursor. I can use a lot of different shortcuts to get things out here. I can use my arrow keys right and left to sort through or cycle through these rather. If I want to place all these and get them in a grid pattern, horizontal, vertical, so that I don't have to sit there and position them myself, here's what I can do. On Windows, if I hold down Control Shift, on Mac, if you hold down Command Shift, you're going to see this little grid icon. Start somewhere, click, drag. You guys can let go of those keys now. If you take a look, it's going to create a grid for us. Now, the cool thing about this is we can change the grid. As you're dragging here, you can use your arrow keys. Up will increase the number of rows. Down will decrease the number of rows. Right will increase the number of columns, the right arrow. The left arrow will decrease the number of columns. And if you want to change the distance between, let's say, all these different rows and columns, if I hold down the shift key and I press the up arrow a bunch of times, you'll increase the distance there. Down arrow, I'm holding the shift key down. Down arrow, hold, pressing it a bunch of times. Shift key held down, right arrow, shift key held down, left arrow. Now you guys will see that there's a lot of things we can do here to be able to change the distances, set things the way we want them, etc. I'm going to let go of all my keys, and when I think it looks pretty good, I can always try again. I'll click and drag, let go. You're going to see what it does. It basically takes all the pictures and fits them in here, and we can then go and work on them, but they are evenly spaced within each other and set to go. So it's a nice, quick, easy way to set a nice little grid pattern.